Hello, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make those sweet synthwave tom fills. And if you stick to the end, I'll show you an awesome tool that you can use to create tons and tons of different synthwave tom fills in seconds. First step to creating synthwave toms is sample selections. You gotta choose the right sounds. And so a lot of those, those uh, synthwave toms that you hear, those are coming from old 80s drum machines like the Lindrum. And those are those those almost like laser gun sounding toms. And so we're gonna work on creating those here. And so um, here in Logic we have the Lindrum uh, drum kit here, so we can use this to create those synthwave toms. Now, if you don't have Logic or you just want some different samples, I've actually got a free synthwave drum kit you can download by clicking in the description below, or you can go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash drum samples. And this will include not only a bunch of tom samples that fit great in synthwave music, but a bunch of other samples as well, like kicks and snares and hi-hats and so on. So definitely grab that free sample kit. So I've got some of them loaded up here. So we're gonna work on uh, drawing in our toms here. And so uh, I, I'm not a great uh, player of the keyboard when it comes to programming in drums. So I'm just gonna draw these in and then we're gonna move them around to where we want. So we got our different tom sounds loaded in here. All right, so here's what our song sounds like that we'll be adding in toms to. All right, you get the idea. All right, so I'm just gonna draw in some tom hits here. And let's see, we're gonna be using this one to start out with, so we got our pencil tool. So let's just listen to this and see if something comes to mind. So I'm just drawing in some random tom fills here and we'll see how this sounds. I think that sounds fine. So we'll now just move these notes around. All right, so I think I want this to start a little later. So I'm gonna move this back here. All right, that's pretty good. So we got that and then we might wanna add up, add some other ones in here as well. Um, let's zoom out here. Quantize these. So now that we got everything drawn in, I'll just glue these together and I'm just gonna turn the velocity up on these so they're all matching. And so then we're gonna try to do some things to make this a little bit more interesting. Number one is actually to adjust the velocity so these aren't all hitting at the same rate. And so we can manually go in and adjust these here in Logic. I'm gonna go into the uh, functions tab here and do MIDI transform and humanize to kind of give us a starting point. And so this lets us kind of randomize the velocity and even the um, how it hits on the grid. So we can introduce some swing and velocity um, functions here. So we'll just, um, right now it's going by about 10 here, random plus and minus, and we will go 10, velocity, a range of 10, maybe we'll go 15, make it a little bit more extreme, we'll see how that sounds. And we also got length in here, so you can see velocity length, um, I'm not gonna do length. I'm gonna have everything still be sticking on the grid and that's pretty good. So we'll um, Operate and so we'll see what that does so we can see um, This isn't gonna work as well because the velocity was already kind of high So we'll just drop this down and then select and operate All right, let's see how this sounds now So this feel like might be need to be a little higher So then from here we can kind of manually tweak things That's pretty good. Now another thing we want to do is some panning. All right, so we want to go to main pan and we want to do relative plus or minus for our panning here. 
and then we're just going to zoom in a little bit. And then we're just going to try panning some of these notes and just seeing how that sounds. Maybe I'll try this one. And this one. And we'll grab this one. So that's kind of moving from left to right there. I kind of like that. We'll do the same thing over here. Maybe I'll put, put that pretty up really far. And there. So there's really no rhyme or reason. I mean, you can try to keep everything in the same spot to make it kind of like a real drum kit if you want to. Uh, I'm kind of just making things a little bit more random here just to add some interest, to keep things different. But of course it's you know up to taste and what you like and what you want to do for your song. All right, and that's pretty good now. So we've got our velocity taken care of, we've gotten our panning taken care of, we've got our placement taken care of. Now we might want to look at just EQing this a bit. So let's see what we got here. You know, I like the body of my toms, like kind of like bigger, deeper sounding toms. Uh, of course, I'm going to cut out the, the low end here for the bass and the kick and just kind of have the, the, the powerful toms hitting around here. And we also like that, that pluckiness, so let's see where that is kind of mainly hitting to help it cut through as the mix gets busier. So we got that, and then we're going to make sure it's not clashing with any of our lead sounds or vocals, so we're going to actually cut out this area here, the more the presence. And so we're going to get the very high, and then some of this around 1K, and then kind of the body here. So it just makes things a little tighter there. And then you might want to add in some compression, help make things a little punchier and fuller. So we're going to try doing that as well here. So a plugin I really like for drums is the T-Rex British channel by IK Multimedia. And so I'm not using the EQ section up here at all, but I'm adding a little bit of compression and also a little bit of gating just to tighten up the drums a little bit. I'm also adding, uh, increasing the input here, which adds a little bit of drive and saturation to the drums. And so we'll see what this sounds like without and then with it in. So very, very subtle, but it brings the drums forward a little bit, makes them a little punchier. Uh, and this adds that very subtle saturation, which is really nice for Synthwave. Um, so that's it for the compression. Now we're going to add some reverb here. And I'm using another IK Multimedia plugin here called the CSR Classic Studio Reverb. I like the gated toms sound here. And I'm using it on a send. So what this reverb does is it adds a very kitsch or almost kind of cheesy sound to the drums. It's kind of a cheesy sounding reverb, but that's kind of what you want for, for Synthwave in these toms because you had drum machines and digital reverbs that were in their infancy. And so they weren't quite as great sounding. They're a little cheaper sounding, but it really adds to the flavor of this song and these drums. So I think I like that. So let's hear that now with everything playing. Uh, and let's hear this all the way through. All right, that's pretty good. And we could tweak this a little bit. I might maybe turn the volume up or something just to make these a little bit more in your face. But otherwise, that's pretty close to what is a great synthwave tom fill sound. So we got the tom fills excellent. And so that's kind of how you make it from scratch. But like I said in the beginning, um, there's a tool you can use to create amazing synthwave tom fills in seconds. I'm just going to mute this and pull up that tool now. So I'm gonna do a new track, Software Instrument. This tool is called Beatmaker Vice, and it is by UJAM, and it is amazing. And so you got your, um, you got like 10 different drum kits here, and they each have their own Synthwave drum samples, uh, as you can hear. Excellent, so you got all these amazing Synthwave songs, uh, samples already in here, including Tom's. 
And of course, each kit has different samples. And you can check out my full tutorial on this in the description below, but right now I just wanna show you how you can use it for fills. And it's this section right here called fills. And this has actual drum loops that we can just drag and drop in here as MIDI. So let's see what these sound like. So with this particular preset, we're hearing mostly just kick fills. So let's try some of these other ones. So basically we're getting some other sounds in there too, not just toms. Um, so that is nice too. It kind of makes a more complicated type of drum fill that makes you sound like a great programmer. So we could drag this one in if we wanted to. Actually, I could just pull up what I'm already using here so it matches the same drum kit. So we could use something like that if we wanted to. Pull that in. And then we could keep that if we wanted to, or we could, you know, make another track and pull this out and separate it out. Because that's what you want to do. You want to have your kick and your snare and everything on separate tracks. So we could just copy this down like this and make sure we have just the toms that we're using here. And then we'll move, remove them from here. And of course we want to separate the snare and the kick and the cymbals as well. But just for demonstration purposes, we can check this out. And of course we could use all the same processing we just did um, before on this here with the EQ and the British channel and the reverb if we wanted to. So we can make this completely dry. So we got no reverb. We could add saturation. Increase the maximizer here. And of course, if we don't like these samples, we could put them on, just drag the MIDI to a different kit or even choose a different kit inside of here. But we'll keep it on Sting. And then of course we can add that send if we wanted to get that gated reverb uh, sound here with the IK Multimedia plugin. And that's how you can create awesome synthwave drum fills in just seconds. And if you look at here, you can see all these different presets, right? So you have the retro section, all these different presets, the modern, all these different presets, experimental, all these different presets. And each one of these presets here comes with three different drum fills. So I don't know how many there are here, tons, but you can see all these, calculate all these up and then multiply by three. And that's how many synthwave drum fills you have in here. And this is again, MIDI. So you can drag it, drop it into your DAW and you can even move around the notes and boom in seconds, you've got amazing professional, complicated sounding drum fills. And remember, if you don't have your own synthwave drum samples or you have some, but you want even more awesome samples to add to your arsenal, then just be sure to click in the description below to download my free synthwave drum sample pack and off you go creating amazing music. All right, if you found this video helpful, feel free to drop a like. And if you want more tips on how to create amazing synthwave music, just check out my playlist on the screen right now, which has a ton of different tutorials in there on how to create synthwave music. All right, thanks for watching and keep creating.